Hey there, YouTubers, and welcome to my second tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do Force Lightning. Okay, now I've already opened up GIMP, and I've done my lightsaber, and if you haven't seen my other uh, tutorial on how to do lightsabers, just go ahead and turn this off and go watch the other one. Go on, do it. Now, do it. No, okay. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make another layer. So make sure that this is clicked on black. Come up here to layer. Go down here to new. Make sure your foreground color is checked. And press OK. Now you're going to come up here. Drop down arrow and go to screen. Yeah, right. Now you're going to want to come up here and press on this. Make it white again. OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to your brush tools. OK. Now I have these. You may or may not. But, um... I got all of my brushes from DeviantArt.com, and there's other tutorials on how to get those. I'm not going to go into it. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and just click which one you want to do. So I've chosen this one. And then what you're going to do is you want to make it small at first and then work up. I've already scaled it up prior to this uh, part of this tutorial. But uh, you get the idea. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring this over to your man's fingertips and you just kind of have to play around with it a little bit but um just kind of guesstimate and I'm going to say about right there and that looks good okay so now you see that's pointing down the way to fix that is come up here to your nifty little rotate tool and click on that okay now what you're going to do is just click anywhere inside your picture doesn't matter once it does that you see this little cross here right here all you're going to do Click that and drag it up to... Why is this doing this? Cancel that. Try this again. Click this. There we go. And drag it to... Right there. Right where the lightning starts at. Okay. Now <laughs> you can rotate it. So you're going to come up here to your little slide tool. And just slide it over. And kind of guess at where the lightsaber is. And that looks about good and then press rotate and there you go okay so now you're going to want to do this you're going to make a new layer for each individual lightning bolt so I'm going to show you one more time click this to black layer new layer okay that'll show up black you can come up here to your drop down arrow press screen make this to white again and just do it over now, you don't want to do, you know, the same lightning bolt over and over again. Obviously, you want to switch it up. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go to, say, this one right here. And, okay, it looks a little bit small, so I'm going to scale it up to about 12. Okay. Let's see. Right about there. Okay. Remember what I said? Come up here, scale, or, uh, your rotate, click inside here, you want to click and drag to right about there. Okay, and rotate, bring this up, okay, that looks good, and press rotate, yeah, that works. Okay. Now, if you've noticed that your lightning actually comes a little bit past your lights here, that's not a big deal either. Come up here to your erase tool and select one of your regular brushes and just erase up until the light there. Okay. So I'm going to add a few in, a few more in, and then I'll show you what to do from there. And there we go. Magic of television, right? <laughs> okay. So, now that you've got all these done, what you're going to do is just merge these down. So, right click, merge down. Does that. Screen it. Screen. Right click, merge down. Screen. Right click. 
merge down screen okay so now you've got all these merged down into one layer so you're going to highlight that and now you're going to go ahead and fill this in with your colors now in the prequel movies the uh, the lightning was actually the same color scheme as uh, the lightsabers themselves so that's just what we're going to do so we're going to come in here to colors color balance and it was blue in the movie so we're going to make it blue let's go up here to shadows make this 35 mid tones make this negative 5 and bring this all the way to 100 go to highlights same thing make this negative 5 and bring this all the way up to 100 and press OK and that's what you end up with alright so now to add just a little bit more realism you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I do it okay so what you're gonna do is come up here to filters light and shadow and gradient flare and I use which one is it I think I use default class I think it's default anyway actually no no it's not this one. I use, I, okay, I'm sorry about that. I use G Flare 102. Anyway, so you want to click on that, and then if it's too big, just go into settings. All you gotta do is just use this, slide it down to, you know, to where you want it to be, and then press OK. And then you'll see it shows up on your lightsaber right there. Let's do it again. Filters, ratio gradient flare. Come in here and just click on one of the points of contact. So that would be one. Press OK. Okay. Filters. Ratio gradient flare. Might just a little bit there. Okay. Right there. Looks better. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay. So now another thing you're gonna want to do is you don't want these to be these hard edges. So come in here to your smudge tool. Smudge tool. Okay. Now you're gonna want to zoom in on the fingers. Alright. There we go. Okay. Smudge tool. Bring this down. Bring this down, like way down. Okay. Now you're just going to come in here and lightly brush this. So that way it'll give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, more realistic finish. Let's see. Bring it down here. Just smudge it out. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll zoom back out. Okay, I'm almost done. You just need to add one more thing if you want to. It's up to you. I go. I usually do this. Come up here to brushes and select smoke. You know, just to give it a little bit more realism. So, click your smoke tool, and obviously it's way too huge, so scale it down just a little bit, and it's still a little bit too big, scale it down just a little bit more, Yeah, that's probably good, right about there, smoke, let's see, we'll do this one, scale this down, right there okay now this kind of has a squared off edge so come up here and we're just going to choose one of the smaller brushes and just just kind of mess with it a little bit 
get more of a rounded off edge. There we go. Alright, and you're done. Just go ahead, right click, and merge this down. And you have got some pretty decent looking force lightning. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and thanks for watching.